Hello, hello and welcome everyone on the call. I see that people are still coming in. Yes, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you guys and would be nice that we all put the cameras on. We, we all put the cameras on. It's, it's, it's better to communicate with you. To see your beautiful smiles and beautiful eyes, yeah? Hi Brenda, hello Mr. Ali. Yes, hello Mac. Uh, sorry, I need to... I'm also in with my phone, why? Yes, so today, very exciting day also for me, because today we have on a call the founder, uh, amazing young man, very successful in this, uh, this uh, space. I already see him, nice, nice, nice. So yeah, the excitement is on. We still have people coming in. So approximately we will start in two, two minutes. And yes, today the founder himself, uh, I will also unmute him. Uh, his name is Alexander Moirer. Alex Moirer, also well known in, in crypto space as AM Crypto. He has his own YouTube channel. He's helping a lot of people, thousands and thousands of people the trading cryptocurrency and so so on so yeah i will i will maybe pass on the the microphone to uh to you alex uh, thank you yeah. for finding the time for the for the community and also guys yeah, no problem. yeah i wanted to say that uh put in the chat where are you from but <laughs> germany originally yeah, no you you yes but uh, ah, okay to, okay <laughs> i wanted to know from uh from the people yeah, I will open the chat for for two minutes. So write in the chat, where are you from? So we we can see and Alex can see also that where is his uh, project going? USA. Yes, next one. Germany, Chicago, USA, Virginia. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. USA. Ukraine. Nice. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Eugene. South Africa, South Africa, nice. I know that also Nigeria is in the house. Nigeria, can you can you also write in the chat you're here? Montreal, Canada, nice, nice to see you guys. Wow, amazing. Olga, welcome on the call. Welcome on the call. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, Alex, I know that you are very, uh, very busy guy. Is uh, yeah. the only project or only company what you are running. So I will, um, yeah, leave leave the microphone over to uh, to you and um, yeah we will listen to you and also yeah maybe have some uh, some questions what uh, what you can answer so yeah welcome alex yeah thank you thank you for that call uh Arthur. so um yeah first of all uh, my name is alex mora as, mo as most of the people here know already here on on the call i'm the founder of uh, liquidix it's my fund and um, I have that fund already running for over two years and was running it before without an MLM structure before um, I got approached by uh, by Artur and some other people that uh, suggested to me to uh, connect it to an MLM system, which was fine for me because it doesn't make much more work on my end. <laughs> so and that's, uh, that's why I basically agreed to it, um, to do it. Uh, I live right now in Dubai. As you can see, I'm in my home more or less so i'm not in my apartment but i'm in the lobby of my place um and uh, i live here now for over two years i'm originally from germany but i also lived over seven years in paris um so i speak fluently french french and then i moved uh, to ukraine um lived there for over three and a half years i still have my apartment in kiev um no worries it's still standing you know so it's still there i live in a good area in kiev um, and uh, then I went from Kiev uh, to Dubai. So and in Dubai, I started then my YouTube channel. I made a lot of money uh, before I had the YouTube channel. For me, it's the other way around than for most the crypto influencers. They made a lot of money through having a YouTube channel, but I was already a professional trader, made all my money before that, and um, did then YouTube basically to bring crypto closer to the masses. And uh, that was the whole motivation out of the YouTube channel, besides making a little bit of money off it. And um, yeah, if you if you have a lot of money but nothing to do, life is boring. So and that also keeps me kind of in check that I have something actually to do besides all the other projects that I'm involved with. For example, there's another meeting just going on here next to me. 
um, that's the other meeting that I'm having at the same time. <laughs> so um, and, and that I had to all day. So I'm, I have still a lot of other projects that I'm also involved uh, besides Liquidix, my YouTube channel and everything else what I'm doing. Perfect, perfect. And I know that, uh, you know, you, you speak in many languages. I, I, I read yeah. some, somewhere or, or I was listening to the um, uh, Apple podcast, I think it was. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About this, yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yes, I, yes. When I got also the offer to be the president of sales, you know, I, uh, I, I checked and I said, wow, this, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this is a gift from universe, you know, and I'm very, very pleased to, to work with you. So yeah, you know, I collected um, some of the questions uh, also from the yeah. people. Yeah? You talked a little bit about who is Alex Moirer, career of Alex Moirer. Uh, then, when did you first hear about crypto? When and, and where? How, how it happened? So it was in 2010 when I heard the first time about Bitcoin and I saw it on a torrent website because I was downloading movies uh, via torrents. And uh, there was an uh, an ad on on in on the header of the website that said something like Bitcoin future of money. And I was using BitTorrent. Said, okay, this is Bitcoin. What is this? You know. So and then I clicked on it, and it um, was a link that forwarded me to the white paper. And I read the white paper, and I was like, oh, that sounds amazing, but it sounds also like a Ponzi scheme. So and I was like, okay, but this Ponzi scheme just started, so I can actually make money off it while I, because I'm early, you know? So And then I tried to mine it because there was also a link uh, to the mining software, and I tried to mine it. And the problem was that the mining so client did not synchronize to 100%. It got always stuck at 99.98% and did not go any further. And I left it for over two weeks like this. And I had at the time, I have to mention, um, I built my own gaming computer and there was the best equipment in it that you could get for money at the time. So I was more than capable to mine with it, um, but it did not synchronize for over two, three weeks. And years later, a friend of mine told me there, there was a bug that I should have fixed and then it would have worked, you know, but I, did, I wasn't aware of that bug. That, that's why after two, three weeks, I left it. I was like, okay, I'm forget about it you know and bitcoin was just over a uh, just around a dollar at the time so um or even under a dollar so and then i saw it again in 2013 and uh, it was a hundred dollars and i was like Shit. you know <laughs> so i missed a hundred x so <laughs> and i would when if i would have mined it myself i would have made per day over a hundred bitcoin in 2010 so i would have had a really big amount so, and um, then I tried to mine again with a laptop. Same problem again, did not work. But the problem was then different because in 2013, you needed already dedicated mining machines, which I did not know. I thought I can still mine with a laptop, which was not possible. And then um, I was actually done with crypto. So I was like, forget about it. Did not work. It's somehow a scam. You know, never, I can never mine, you know. So I was like, no, thank you. And then I had a roommate in Germany in 2015. And he was just sitting on the couch and doing nothing, but he made like a thousand dollars a day. And I was like, what the heck are you doing? And then he explained me, yeah, I'm exchanging like here on the website, I'm exchanging um, uh, perfect money, Ucash, Litecoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I was like, Bitcoin? Go away with that shit, you know? So it did not work for me. He said, what did not work? I said, I wanted a wallet and I wanted to mine it. So, I, and he said, give me your iPhone, uh, a wallet, you have one in two minutes. I was like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. And then after two minutes, I had a wallet and then I was like, hey, give me the website where you're exchanging. It's like, no, 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 I know you. You're going to put me out of business if I give you the website, you know. <laughs> and then um, then, then, and, and then, um, then, then, I uh, found um, other websites where I could do the same thing and started to make a lot of money. And I just finished my, um, my academic degree to be an, um, to be an engineer. So, and then when I started working and was exchanging at the same time, at some point within the first three weeks, I was making in 30 minutes of my lunch break, three times more money exchanging than what I made the whole day at work. So, and that's when I basically said, okay, here's something wrong. You know, I make more money in 30 minutes in my lunch break than I make the whole day working really hard with like uh, hot machines and burning my skin and shit like that. So I was like, uh, okay, let's see if this is stable for like a month or two. And it was just getting more and more and more what, what I earned. And then, then, then I was like, okay, I'm out of here. So I quit the job, moved to Paris because regulations were better there. I started my own exchange business 
Um, the company registration is still there under my name and everything. Uh, I was running this for three years and, um, and then I moved on to other things. Wow, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing, you know, because yeah. Yeah, I have, I have been in this, uh, you know, I started with MLM three years ago only, then I heard about crypto, yeah. right? But, but it's not too late, as they say, yeah? No, 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 it's not too okay. late. So, yeah, the, I have more questions for you. Um, yeah, sure. You know, we have heard that uh, you are a nine-figure guy, right? So, yeah. <laughs> with this, you can ask, yeah, not about the how much, right, but the achievements. Yeah. Like how you become a trader because everyone, guys, you can also go to YouTube, AM Crypto. You can see that he's really helping thousands and thousands of people daily, actually. And I really like your energy, yeah. how you're doing it. And uh, yeah, respect for this. So yeah, tell me a little bit Thank about you. this. Yeah, so, the, the, so it was basically one trade that got me to nine figures. Um, so uh, what, what, I, what I did was um, I, I had so let, let me put it this way. So um, I started to be a professional trader um, out of an urgency because I had a crypto project in 2018 in the bear market uh, that did not work out because of the bear market. I could not get funding because I did not have the same network that I have today. And I was living in Paris at the time. And I had a girlfriend in Ukraine since 2017. And I was going every weekend back and forth between Paris and Kiev. So, and um, I burned then through all my savings with the project because it was a good project. I had really, really big advisors on that on board. These people that were my advisors working now full time for Swissborg. So, and Swissborg okay. doesn't work with, with anyone, you know, so they only take high quality people. So, and um, my problem was just that I did not have the network that I have today and that I didn't have funding enough. That's why it failed. So and uh, in August 2018, I had to make a choice. What do what do, do I going to do? Do I put my, my last five thousand dollars into the project and hope that it's starting to run? And if not, then work from McDonald's because I don't have an office then anymore and need somehow internet to work. Um, or do I take the five thousand dollars, go to Kiev where I know that I can live easily six to eight months with that money and try to figure out something else? And that's basically what I did. I took the money, I went to Kiev. Um, for two weeks, I was not doing anything. Uh, and then I was, uh, because I was burned out from the project, I was working 16 to 18 hours a day just on my project. And um, then after two weeks, I was like, what, what should I do now? You know, I don't want to go back to a nine to five job. That's not for me, but I need yeah. somehow to make money. And then, uh, then I remembered I was trading on the sideline without any trading knowledge. Um, the uh, Bitcoin uh, while I was working on my project and I was trading the order book flow. So at the time you could make money between when the US market was closing and the Chinese market was closing. So the, because the Chinese were pumping it and the US was dumping it. So when you when you saw in which time window they were trading, you could make some good money there. So uh, but that was the only thing that I knew about trading at the time. So and then I was like, okay, trading was working quite well. Maybe I should try that professionally. So and then I was uh, looking for a crypto course, which did not exist. I found only Forex courses and stock courses. And I did not know that I can apply the same knowledge to crypto. At the time, I was like, no, no, I want a crypto course or I learn it myself. So and how I learned it then was that um, I went to YouTube, watched other people, what they do. And when I didn't understand something, I uh, I Googled it. And that's how I actually uh, then learned it, learning by doing. So wow. then um, within uh, 10 months, I went from 5,000 to over $2 million. So, but I have to mention there, um, it was also because Bitcoin did the 3X, you know? So I basically traded myself up from 5,000 to like six, 700,000. Um, realistically over that period and the rest was the price increase along the way you know um, that I got to over two million because I was holding it so and then what I did in 2021 in January was that I found a coin that recently listed on Binance at the time and CZ basically said between the lines I back the project if they fail I refund everyone so and um, and that and that was pancake swap so, and I saw pancake swap when I was just six weeks on the market and it just dumped and was looking like it forms a bottom. So, and I bought it at 68 cents. I, I can still go here now 
and share life where I had my buy order, you know, so it was at 68 cents and um, I bought a million dollars worth of pancake and I was expecting that pancake goes back to six dollars something because that was the high when it started to list on Binance and I, and I had like a year or 18 months um, time horizon to make the 10x, you know, so but was ha what happened was it went almost to $50 within three months. So and uh, so and and I'm basically uh, and I'm actually the reason that uh, that it dumped from 49 downwards because when I saw it doesn't go it, it doesn't went to 50 and I saw it struggled around 48 49 to go to 50 I was like okay I should start cashing out and then I basically dumped the price all the way down to uh, 25 dollars while I, I was cashing out. <laughs> Yeah, I hope that we don't have anyone on the call. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, very, very nice story, you know, and um, yeah, let's go now um, closer to to the main point, uh, to Liquidix. Yeah. And uh, yeah, first thing, because yeah, as, as we have speak, spoken with you, you know, for, for people is important, the security, because in MLM space, yeah. in MLM space, you know, how it is you know people are coming yeah. and uh, many don't have the financial intelligence you know and they lose money right so let's start with this that how did you come to offer like liqu liquidity mining how it um, was so so um there was another project uh, around um that was offering me to invest into a fund where they were doing liquidity mining and um, I was always wondering how they got, uh, how they are doing that, and it looked quite complicated to me at the beginning. And I was like, I'm sure I can somehow re replicate that. So, and I have a friend, a really close friend that I know for almost 20 years, and he's working for the German government. So, and what happened was when I told him about that, that I invested into this fund and they do liquidity mining, and I wanted to build something similar. He said, you know what, I, I have access to a bot that was built for the German government on the blockchain, but I never used it. The, the, the bot is lying around for two years already and nobody's using it. I was like, can we use it for liquidity mining? He said, it was not built for that, but we can repurpose it and then it can do liquidity mining. So, okay, let's do it. So, and that's basically how I got into it to do it myself through the bot that we have. And because we have a really, really stick, strict NDA with the German government on the bot, we are not able to share any information related to the bot. So because uh, that was the deal that we had to make with the German government, that we don't give access to the source code, we don't give access to the smart contracts, we don't give access to anything. Yeah. So and uh, that's 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 basically how how we came up with the liquidity mining. So and the. The difference is between me and these, the other fund. First of all, the other fund is closed now. They are done. They are out of business. And that, the one reason is because they got so many people in that uh, they could not handle it anymore. And it was handled manually. They don't have a bot. So, and I have a bot. I don't need anyone. So I have a team of people looking over the bot, but yeah. um, I don't have people manually tr trading um, on Uniswap to execute the liquidity mining. Correct. Understood. Wow. Nice story. But let's go now to this, uh, to this also about the safety, because we know that yeah. you have the, the in Uniswap, right? This is the number one. Yeah. Thing, as I also see, yeah. that it's decentralized, right? So yes. let's talk a little bit about the safety, so people understand that they yes. are they are quite safe with with uh, with this uh, with this investment. Yes. Yes, so what people need to understand is that Uniswap uh, as a decentralized platform um, has the same status in the space as a decentralized platform than Binance. You know, so if you think about safety and people say, yeah, but I can lose my money because the platform is, uh, is getting hacked or something, um, it's basically impossible, you know. So try, try to hack Binance, you know, Binance never had a hack, you know. So it's the same thing. Uniswap is the same thing like Binance, just in a decentralized space, you know, because they're not a centralized entity. So and uh, when you also look when it comes to liquidity mining, Uniswap has, um, when it comes to decentralized exchanges, the highest liquidity, the highest volume. There's no other decentralized platform that has more volume than Uniswap. Yeah. 
But let's go. Yeah, also, I, I meant also the safety uh, about about your pool. Yeah, about the liquid. Ah, okay. Yeah. About this a little bit, so so people understand that you know the that, that they're gonna lose money or something. It's gonna be yeah. a, you know another another scheme or something. Yeah. Let's go into yeah. The details. Yeah, 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 sure. Um, so first of all, the the bot, like I said, uh, our fund is running for over two years. We have a two years track record. Uh, where we achieved a minimum yield uh, for our clients without that we ever accrued a loss. So, and that is due to the bot that we are using. So, um, and even though if the bot would ever lose money, we would cover it from our side because we give our clients a minimum amount in, of return every month. And we make ourselves so much money that we are so confident to give this guarantee to our clients. So basically, yeah, I wanted to ask you about uh, this is the insurance pool. I'm, I'm correct. Yes, yes. Can you talk a little bit about this, about the insurance pool? So basically, if it's going to happen something, what yeah. is the next scenario? Yeah. So if OK, let, uh, let's say doomsday scenario and um, let's say uh, the US comes out and said the whole crypto market is all um, illegal securities and they're shutting everything down you know so and technically the money would be all gone you know so um at, at least on uniswap you know so then then we would cover it from our own pocket because what we do is most of the profit that we are generate for ourselves we put it on the site for that reason for every client so until the contract is finished with the client and then we take our own share of the profit um, the majority of it. So, but we make first sure that we are one to one backed for our clients before we are taking ourselves any profit. Okay, that's very good. The second question is um, is because I know it's, it's gonna come. It's gonna come the question later for me anyway. So you yeah. talk about yeah, but is there gonna be some some agreement some. Uh, if they invest some agreement, what they need to, you know, how is going to be? If people invest, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It happens, yeah, how the insurance pool going to work? Because some people are going to say, yeah, you can say this, right? But how is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there, there, there is a document for that, that, uh, that, that in case if the fund fails, that uh, within uh, 30 to 60 days, we, we're going to pay the client the money back. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Did you all write this down? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Amazing, Alex. Wow, very cool. So, um, yeah, next thing, next question. Uh, let me open. Okay, we talked about... So, but, but uh, sorry, I, I, have to, I have to mention that for the insurance pool, that is just in a doomsday scenario, you know? So, if yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. so, so for example, if, if for some reason, let's say, um, the market crashes, you know, so and then um, the market flips upside down, you know, so and, and we make an insane loss, you know, or something like this, you know, that is not covered. OK, OK, understood, understood, understood. OK, next question. Why is an MLM multi-level marketing implemented to this? Because, you know, you yeah. know, I was on a call with you and I told that there are some people asking, yeah, but he's he's so rich, you know, why he needs to do this network marketing, right? So, yeah, maybe yeah. you can answer this also. Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, because the the entry barrier is right now really, really high. Um, so I have only super high net worth clients right now. So and I've I've thought then about, OK, that is that is quite a problem for most of the people that I talk to, you know, to to meet my criteria that I have. And that's why I had then the idea to open it up to an MLM network where people with even, let's say, $50 could technically come in and the MLM network has a pool and the pool is meeting my minimum criteria, you know, so and I don't care if I have one pool as a client or if I have one high net worth client, it doesn't change for me anything. But that way I can give more, uh, I can give access to this product to more people than just ultra high net worth people. Correct, correct. Yeah, it's good because what I what I actually really like also uh, about this that the founder has not, never been a network marketer himself. This is a very good point, actually. 
I, uh, or, I was kind I was kind a long long time ago um, but it's a really 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 long time ago where I was um, in um, yeah it was basically an MLM structure that I was in but that was in 2009 or 10 something like this but only for six months and then I was done with it I didn't want to do it anymore <laughs> okay that's good cool. so that's I have some experience that's nice. So the next, um, uh, the last question, basically from uh, from me is, um, I had this yesterday. Uh, is about like, what is the capacity of of, of of this pool? You know, how much can you know the the investments go? There there must be some capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course. So we can handle up to four billion dollars. So, and I have already another uh, secondary solution uh, if we reach that level. Um, then the money would not be in liquidity mining anymore. It would be allocated into other strategies that I have to, uh, with, the, with the same yield. The, uh, that was also tested now for almost a year in the background, exactly for that reason. Because um, I have potentially some really, really big clients coming in that want to put nine figures and I'm talking with them already for a couple of months and that's why I had to figure out, okay, if I reach the maximum limit of the pool where it's profitable for us, you know, so what do I do afterwards, you know, so and that's how we came up with new strategies. They're, they're, not, liqu they're, they're not liquidity mining related anymore, but they achieve the same yield. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, what I can say, you know, I... Uh... I really like like your energy, you know, and I already have the messages here that this is so cool call and yeah, people are happy and yeah, they really, you know, some people really waited to, to see who is behind and some people didn't even believe that, uh, is it really Alex behind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's and, me. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate for for you to, to come on the call, you know, to find the time. So I, I guess that uh, many people understood now what it is exactly the safety, the security about this, who is behind is very important for, for us all, you know, and um, yeah. yeah, I just want to say thank you. And um, yeah, basically, basically that's it from me. But give me a second because I need to. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I need to do um, a screenshot. I don't know how to do the screenshot, but somebody asked me to do a screenshot. Of um, I, 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 um, what kind of computer you have? Microsoft? No. Mac? Yes. Then um, Control, Command, and Free. Uh, no, sorry, it's it's like Upshift, Control, Free. That, that's how you make a screenshot. Upshift, Control, and Free. Okay, smile, everyone. <laughs> no, he's not doing anything. Wait. Still wait, no. Let, let, wait, wait. Let, let me check quick on on, on my laptop. Okay. When I make the screenshots, it's. Uh, I can, usually I'm Google. Oh, no. uh, here, here look. Shift and four. Okay. It's free. It's, for for me, it's free. Command Shift and free for screenshot. <laughs> four is wrong. Somebody said Command Shift. Yeah. And free. Yes, three. I will make yes. I will make some more photos. Give me a second. Great. Cool. Um, yeah, Alex, uh, any, any, anyway, thank you so much. And um, no we problem. Will not, we will not keep you one more. <laughs> we will yeah. not keep you long anymore. And uh, I think that everyone appreciates appreciate Alex on the, on the call. And um, yeah, it, it was very nice and very open, open uh, talk. So thank you so much, Alex. So yeah, yeah no problem. You can everyone send the reactions. Uh, are you happy with this call? And then let's say bye bye mm -hmm. to Alex. And yeah, have an amazing uh, night, Alex. Yeah, you too. See you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Yes, guys. Uh, it was amazing call. And then uh, thank you everyone who participated. We had uh, 66 people in. So tomorrow we will have a presentation call right and the presentation call will happen i think the same time or maybe one hour later i will put this in the chats right in the group 
so you can send to your people. Yes, thank you so much guys. I hope that you were happy uh, about the call. The pre-registration is on. The pre-registration is on. So basically soon they're gonna test all the, the, the back office, right? Approximately maximum two more weeks, maximum. So take, build your structures. So if we start, it's gonna be a big turnover and everybody wins. So thank you so much guys for the call. Thank you USA, thank you Africa, South Africa, uh, Vietnam, uh, Thailand, Nigeria, Mr. George, Messiah. Thank you, Mr. Ali from Germany. So yeah, thank you Ukrainian guys and have an amazing, and thank you Canada. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye, see you all.